I love my mama over all these bitches. Niggas switch to stay true to the main mission. Plotting how to get it. I'm just working on that grand plan. Caught out that granddaddy. Got him like goddamn. All right, what up, world? This is Lowe's for the Worldcast. Welcome back to the next episode. And I'm here with my boy Maul. We're going over the sports edition. In this first part of the sports edition, we're going to cover boxing. Uh, the first fight we have coming up on June 21st, this Saturday, is Gary Russell Jr. and Lomachenko. Uh, me, I'm not too familiar with Lomachenko. I am familiar with Gary Russell Jr. Uh, big fan. Look forward to all his fights. Uh, there's a couple great cards on, uh, on. There's a couple great undercards on this on this fight on this fight that we'll get into as well. Uh, one being Robert the Ghost Guerrero versus Yoshihiro Kamagai. And we also have um, the return of Chad Dawson. We have um, Devin Alexander. Devin Alexander fighting that night. Jesus Soto Carras, which is going to be a great, a good fight, a really good fight. So hold on one second, Mark. Uh, and I'd like to introduce people. I know it's from the New York episode. Uh, going back to Gary Russell Jr., the main, the main event for the night, and uh, Lomachenko. 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 Okay. So what do, what do you think? First of all. Gary Russell Jr. has it been done dirty by boxing for him to just have a major title fight of this magnitude this long with somebody like Lomachenko to kind of get this opportunity a little faster? Man. Give me give me your opinion. You were telling me earlier about how you were a little frustrated with how boxing is working out and how Bob Abram has his hand involved in this as well. Yeah, Bob, give me, give me give his weigh in on that. In the situation, it's he it took. A fighter that mm -hmm. hasn't proven himself on the pro uh, on the pro level. Lomachenko has not proven itself on a pro level. He had a very, very impressive amateur career, which he only compiled. He compiled on almost uh, three hundred and eighty something amateur, amateur fights, about. and he only lost one. So and Gary Russell Jr. has been knocking dudes out for a minute. And he had a very impressive amateur career, but he hasn't proven anything on a pro level. Mm -hmm. Gary Russell's been here a prospect of 2011 so this is his going into his third year of boxing mm. and he was prospect of the year and he put on some very good exciting and impressive fights but for him I don't think this was nece it was necessarily earned but on Lomachenko's behalf he didn't earn even in his third fight his second fight he fought Orlando Salido he lost a split decision to Orlando Salido right, right, right. now in his third professional fight and I mean he's worn another title shot so he's coming off an L yes. to fight Gary Russell Jr yes. now was the last guy that he took an L to could he even stand in the ring with Gary Russell Jr for 12 rounds he's very tough you know what I mean Orlando Salido we see how well, he do you he see beat, if, if Orlando Salido was fighting Gary Russell Jr could he beat him no okay no, so they give either. this dude, the loser, the chance to fight him. And now is it, is another it, title shot in his third fight. Now, is it because this 128-pound division, 126-pound division is thin? Or does it have more no, talent? Yeah, you were telling me about the talent that's yeah, out there. Is there not, like I said, Donito Donaire, you have Juan Manuel Lopez. Uh -huh. um, you also have, you did have Michael Garcia at one point. When you move up? To right, right, right. right. And you still have uh, it's one of a fighter like I said Abner Mares. Abner, yeah, well, Abner's coming off of L. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have Joseph Abeko. You have so many yeah, good Becco. fighters, and I mean that's in that 126 pounds. But nobody will fight Gary. That's what I understand. Yeah. Are they scared? They're not gonna take the risk. You guys are scared of Gary Russell Jr. That's They're what not you gonna are. take the risk because it does. And I mean, he's from a marketing out. standpoint. It doesn't make sense. What well, he he, he, he uh, if he, he takes does the win on the champion, champion, yeah. If he does become champion, now it's marketable. Now he built the name for himself mm -hmm. because he is champion. And a lot of the other champions in the division can't avoid him. Mm. All right, so boom. Well, give me your prediction on this fight, and let's move on to the uh, Robert the Ghost Guerrero and uh, yo, yo, what's his name, Yoshihiro Kamagai. So give me your prediction on the Gary Russell Jr. Yeah, uh, Gary Russell. I mean, which, I which he's, is he's really going to confuse him with his speed and his power, and he does have the ability to knock him out. Well, this is one of those fights because a moment Chenko is tough that can go to decision. But it all, it all depends on Gary Russell. Gary Russell is. So you're not going to give me a solid answer. You're not going to give the people a solid answer. It's, 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 it's what do you hard, say? You got to do it with what's that? It's hard to predict. And I mean, I, far as I'm is, saying, knockout in the eighth. Gary Russell Jr. takes dude out right hook. I think it's going to be early knockout. Gary Russell. Yeah, I think it's going to be an early knockout. All right. So our boy Robert the Ghost Guerrero, who has been off since the Mayweather fight, where he got oh, the yeah. brakes beat off him. 
Yeah. Uh, he's fighting a lesser opponent. And, he's, uh, for more than a year. he's been over a year. Before, it, it, and Mayweather last May. Yeah. And Money Mayweather has gone on since then to make almost $100 million cash, right? 105 to be exact. <laughs> 105 since that fight. Crazy. Uh, Robert DeGuis Guerrero, he got the biggest payday of his life. What was it, about five, five, eight, five, eight million? I think he made five million. Yeah. Right? What's it up with total? In totality, mm -hmm. but for that fight, his purse was three million. Okay. For for that fight, like, in totality, you're talking about if you, they're talking about live, I mean, live gate and pay-per-view buys, they probably right. rounded it up basically it's like five, 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 seven million, yeah, I would so say. We, say we don't know. That for sure, that's his business, what he got paid. I'm sure there's some... All right, so we got the return of Robert Ghost Guerrero. We got the brakes beat off in Bobby Mayweather versus Yoshihiro Kamagai. And they're going 12 rounds in uh, Carson, California. Um, what do you say here? You think Robert comes back motivated after a loss with some time off, maybe to spend time with family and fight a lesser opponent, that's get the, back in the ring, get, get the rust, knock the rust off? Or, yeah, we don't know. Because or, is it, or is it the decline of his career if he gets beat again and then basically it's, it's over? He's a formidable opponent. He's not, it's not a tune-up or a walk -over. Uh, common guy, he's, he, he's coming to fight. He's, he's proven. Coming. He's proven he's going to be tough mm -hmm. for it goes. But it all depends. And I mean, a year layoff, when I mean, uh, that just uh, inactivity, it's just going to be hard. It's going to be interesting to see the type of fighter that we see, if he's a diminished fighter, if he's a changed fighter since the Mayweather fight. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, it's just happening. But I think that's one of those fights that will go to the decision. It'll go to the decision. You're saying no knockout. Be, all right, so the WBO featherweight title is wide open right now. Anybody yeah. can grab it. And the two opponents that are up for the battle, Devin Alexander and uh, well, Devin Alexander is a welterweight. Well, right, this is this is a feather. Isn't it say uh, they they drop down? No. This is the. Um, it's a welterweight fight. It's not. It's not. It's a welterweight. Yeah, one forty-seven. Oh, it is a welterweight. It's ten rounds though. It's ten rounds. Got you. Got you. Yeah. The Gary Russell Jr. The Soto Carras man, he's a one forty-seven. He's a big one. For Lomachenko and Gary Russell is the open. I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah, they so, the Right, I don't, think, I don't think so. Devin Alexander, who we met, uh, was in Atlantic City last time we yeah. were there for the. Uh, uh, who's got to get his shit together? What's the boy's name? Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner. Uh, and he was there, and supposedly that was the lot of hype going on that he was supposed to fight Mayweather, but it wound up being Guerrero. Mm -hmm. Remember, and we were like, you know, what the hell are you doing? Guerrero's going to get knocked out, which you predict, predicted, and you were right. All right, so we got Devin Alexander and Jesus, or Jesus. Jesus Soto Jesus Soto Now, Devin is coming off a uh, really, really, really tough loss against... Of course, against uh, Sean Porter. Sean Porter, who has now went he, over and he skipped over. He just, he's he's an IBF champion. IBF champion, and they have him set up. Is he, is, is he going to be on the next Mayweather undercard? No, he's one of the hottest things in boxing. Yeah, but we don't know. He's a possible opponent for Mayweather. But after he's he beat Devin Alexander, States. he beat someone else, didn't he? Yeah, Who, he, was he the second? knocked out Paulie Malone. He knocked out Paulie. He knocked out Paulie on the B Hop card, right? Yeah. Okay. Card. All right, we're all over the place, but for our boxing fans out there, I know you're sticking with us. Uh, I think Paulie should hang it up too. By the way, um, yeah. got a hell of a love this world. Great voice, great for Showtime, and I think it'll work out perfect for him behind the microphone, not in the ring anymore. You don't, you don't want to have your knock, you know, your block rocked around too many times. You know what I mean? You have the shakes for the rest of your life or something. Um, so, who do you say out this Devin Alexander, uh, Soto Paras? Fight. That's a that's a the fight that uh, that Devin can lose because Soto Karras he's very aggressive, he's relentless, and he does have power. And is he one of those come forward boxes like yes. the whole time? Okay, he's a marcher. Take a punch, which Devin Alexander he does have some pop, but he doesn't have any true power. Got gotcha. you. And I don't think he's gonna have enough to finish you. Mm -hmm. But if he does a good job and he stays away, and I mean he uses lateral movement and his boxing skills, which he does have. Mm -hmm. He can't win a decision. Okay, so you're saying he should, he should by now. If he stays in close quarters, and I mean, he, but he has the speed, he has all the tools. So don't stay in the middle of the ring this fight. Yeah, he just can't don't exchange. He can't, he can't exchange. He okay. can't, More I mean, speed, power, elusiveness. Yeah, he, he can't okay. allow him to back him up. Now. So what do you say? You say Devin by decision? Yeah, okay. right. And Devin, you know what I mean? Or Devin has a possibility of losing this fight. Up? This is a dangerous really, really, fight. Really, really, really. This is a dangerous fight. So you pick a so uh, formidable opponent. Yes. So the Karras is proven. And I mean, he's the one that upset Andre Berto. Yeah. Yeah. Andre Berto, please come back, man. Well, give me give me, give me one more, man. He was a hell of a... What was the one we had uh, with Andre Berto had the, the ultimate warrior fight? Was it against... Uh, no, nah, that was against Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz. Yeah. They had a hell of a hell of a scrap. Man. Yeah, that was a fight of the year candidate. Bro. Oh man, felt bad. But they both put it on the line. They were both swole yes. up at the end, man. They both were like puffer fish and shit. And I so, mean, and he lost to Robert Guerrero too. 
Yeah. And he lost to Robert Guerrero. I remember that. All right. So cool. So we covered a lot. Uh, we knocked it out real fast. So we got uh, starting off Gary Russell Jr. with a knockout. Uh, Robert the Ghost Guerrero by decision. Uh, Soto Carras possibly giving down that Devin Alexander at L. But we want to say Devin Alexander by decision. Last but not least, we have Chad Dawson versus George Rhodes. George Rhodes. George Blades? George Blades. George Blades. George Blades. I don't know George Blades. Uh, last time I paid attention to George Blades. Last time I paid attention to Chad Dawson. Who's he fighting? And I mean, it's a year layoff for him. Chad Dawson's coming off of L. Yeah, he, he was knocked out by Adonis Stevenson. That was right, and Adonis has just been on the tear since then. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Chad Dawson, do you see him coming back possibly winning this fight against? It all it has been, now this is a two. Is it, yeah, this is a, a this two is a two. Up. So they're not gonna put him in there with anyone dangerous. You know, he's been off for more than a year. Right. <coughs> he has a lot to prove in this fight, but he doesn't really have a dangerous opponent for the win. I don't know too much about George Blades, but okay. so we're basically think, saying Chad Dawson wins. Yeah, Chad Dawson should win, but it all depends on what type of Chad Dawson shows up. What's the, where's the what's the best fight you've seen Chad Dawson at? Was it against B Hop? That was kind of his, his his peak. The, no, the best fight I've seen Chad Dawson against was against. I mean, and, and, and I mean uh, his opponent was uh, against. Uh, he actually fought him twice. Oh. Uh, the Jamaican. Uh, what's his name? Uh, he brought, he knocked Corey Jones out also. Sorry, we'll come to you. I asked you a pretty tough yeah. question. Don't worry about it. No, nah, no, nah, but that was his. Uh, that was his toughest fight. So yeah. people to Wikipedia Chad Dawson. You find a Jamaican fighter. He fought twice. There you go. Yeah. That's the lead. Yeah. If it yeah. comes to you, it'll, it'll come to you yeah. 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 on the next yeah. part. Yeah. Hey, everybody, uh, stick around for part two. We get into NBA. What LeBron should do. Where do we see the next year's champs? It's kind of predictable. It's, you know, a lot of people will return. And what we see LeBron doing with his future. Glenn Johnson. Glenn Johnson. Glenn Johnson. Well, actually, I think back, Glenn, took a job, Glenn took a job as like a carpenter or something, right? He went, no, he had a job. He has a uh, he has a job. He works outside of boxing. Right, yeah, right, I don't know his, I'm, I'm, but I'm I don't like, know his profession is, but Glenn's a hell of a boxer. I think Glenn was is one of his toughest fights, but that's one of the best performances that I've seen okay. from Chad Dawson. All right, so we did get our answer. See, it's when you don't think about it. It's when you start talking about another sport. Yeah. All right, so everybody stick around for part two. We're going to have our NBA reaction. Uh, it was a hell of a year, and uh, we'll get right into it in a little while. Stay tuned. Click on part two, man. Click on part two.